Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to FTL with Llama. Uh, I believe the music might be a bit loud, so I do apologise. I'll try turning it down when I get in the game. But yeah, this is FTL. I've only just started. I've, this is actually the first game I've played. I've not played a single game yet, so this will be Llama's first look. Uh, I've called it the Lonmobile. And with us we have me, uh, we've got Steph, and we've got Izzy. So here we go. It's a... Ah, oh, there we go. Options. There we go. I'm sure that's much nicer. Maybe go a bit lower actually. Why not? You can be able to hear me much better now. Okay, so the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey to make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Now I have actually seen a few people play this game before, so I know that you I know about the pursuing rebel fleet. You if you've not seen it before and this is your first video of it, um Basically, the pursuing rebel fleet will be shown up on the map as this big circle, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it follows you throughout the map. Uh, open the in-game menu by pressing escape. I've already figured that one out there. Uh, and you can restart or change options from there. Okay, continue. Okay, so you can see we're already ready to jump. We're in a nebula. That's fantastic. Um, right, what should we do first? Who should we have? I think, as it's my game, I will be manning the the uh, the steering wheel. <laughs> I'll be piloting. There we go. I couldn't think of the word piloting. I'm piloting this bad boy. And okay, let's have. Right, Steph's quite aggressive. She's. Yeah. That sounds mean. She's not aggressive. Okay, uh, double click on her. How do I move? Is it? Ah, right click. Got it. And Izzy... Uh, let's see. Where do we need Izzy? On shields or engine? Let's have is he on the engine for now? Okay. So, is it just... I don't know, how do I do this? You're going to have to bear with me, guys, because I'm... It's unpowered. Okay, we've got... Extra power thingies. How do I... Click on the weapon to charge and fire. Ah! Ah, I see. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it now. Okay, cool. Now, this is the ship upgrades page, I know. I know that much. Okay, so we have all the systems, which are all the things down here, that need upgrades. So I'm definitely going to work on the shields and the weapons, but I don't need to work on the weapons just yet because I only have those two and they're fully powered. But then obviously for each power bar that I upgrade it by, I'm going to need power bars, which get more and more expensive as you go along. Now these are the subsystems, which are my piloting, which I'm manning at the moment. The sensors, which if I upgrade it, uh, will show the enemy ship's insides and the door systems which just improve the doors in case any bad guys come aboard and this is that yes or it's got evasion on so the more you upgrade that the more likely you are to dodge enemy uh, incoming enemy gunfire so I can have okay so I can have eight people or beings of sorts on the ship at any time but I can't rename them if I pick any up and my equipment, which are just the weapons at the moment, and we'll talk about these when we get to it. Okay, so let's, let's make our first jump. Uh, I 
don't think I'll go to that. I'm going to stick to... I will stick to the nebula for now. And I think... Because I'm... I'm a bit of a chicken, I'm going to get over here as quick as possible, maybe check these ones out, but I don't want to stick around the edge too long. Well, there we go. Uh, you cycle through wideband comm channels as soon as you arrive, nothing but static. Okay. So there's nothing here. That's fine. Uh, you may notice up here as well, actually, this is our, our health basically, so if that gets all the way down to the bottom, the ship blows up. Now, this here is the amount of fuel, you can actually read that, the amount of fuel, each jump consumes one fuel, so that jump I just made from there to here took one fuel. So, that one, there you go, it's taken another fuel from us. Uh, this beacon has been built for a nearby civilian space station no one hails your ship. So again, we've not had to do anything. And now we're out of the nebula, you can see that the the cameras are working, our surveillance is picking up the rest of our ship. So that's good. Oh, there's a store. I've only got 30 scrap. But it'd be nice to have a little look to see what there is. Okay, so they've got nice weapons in there. Uh, pike beam, wow. Requires two power, charging time is 16 seconds. Yeek. What, what are these? 12 seconds, 11 seconds. Okay, so 16 isn't that much more. Uh, you see, that is something I would have bought if I could. Uh, but let's see, as we've got an Artemis to start with, I'm going to buy those because we need the rockets. The fuel we're okay with for now. Uh, I think I'm going to... an FTL jam I should have probably saved. No, I think I will just go to the next place. Let's see. Let's go up here. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Now I can demand the surrender of their goods or avoid the ship. But as I've been lucky enough not to actually have any combat so far, I think I'm going to go with demand the surrender of their goods. It's a rebel rigger. You see up here. Now let's see, it's... Also, it's got shields, and it's got drones. It's only got one shield, and it's not really got that much hull, so I think... Uh, they look like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape already. Well, then, damn son, we're going to have to deal with that. So, they're going to try and get out of here as quick as possible, so I am going to take down their engines and I'll Artemis their weapons. I'm not too worried about the drone. Okay, let's just see how this goes. So we've just got to wait for our weapons to actually power up. As you can see, they're slowly going up there. The Artemis is ready to fire. It's gone. Oh, fantastic. Both there. Oh, I don't think I need to don't really need to do too much more. I'll, I won't use any more Artemis because that uses up rockets. Oh, they've got their weapons back online, but not to worry. They're dead. There we go. So you search the remains of the ship, but only come across blueprints and debris from broken machinery. A shame, but you take what scrap you can salvage. We've got 14 scrap out of that, which will be added to that. Uh, to the total. We've got few, two fuel and one drone part. So success. They didn't do anything to us and we only used one rocket. Okay, as you can see here, if you look at this warning sign, that's where... I believe that is actually where the rebels will be when I next jump. So they're 
just here somewhere now. So let's go here and see what this gives us. Okay, so it's an auto scout. You arrive your arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. The nearby automated rebel scout has developed a virus and disrupts your shield system. Hopefully it won't cause further problems before you can destroy it. Well, shit, son. So I can't add any more power to that. Well, that's fun. Um... Okay, well, I've not, I've not seen that in any games before, where it, in any of the uh, playthroughs I've seen. So this could be fun. Uh, as he has gone invisible, using his cloak, I can't lock on to him now. So I'm going to have to... I'll have that ready. Okay, let us see. Okay, let's... I'm more worried about them doing any damage to us, so let's just power that up and send that in there. Ouch. Okay, let's just... Okay, so I've taken down... Oh dear. Uh, Izzy, get... Oh, do you know... No, our stuff will be fine in there on our own. Okay, let's take down... Okay, fine, we're going to have to wait now. And fire. Oh, okay, they've breached us. So there's a big hole in our... In our engines room. Let's get Izzy in there to go fix that while we shoot them right in the buttocks. Fantastic, they're down. Okay, the ship explodes, leaving behind a collection of useful scrap material. One missile, one drone part, and 19 scrap. Okay, good. Now we just need to get that fixed. Steph, go in there and help as well. Okay, good. It's there we go, the oxygen's back. Okay, fantastic. Let's get you both over to Medical Bay to heal you up a bit. Oh, I need you, you over there as well. Let's just get everyone nice and healthy before we continue on our way. Okay. So, Joe, back there. Izzy, back to your shields. And Steph, back to the weapons. I believe we're good to go. Okay.